guys, so today I have um, my first kind of wax empties video. So this is the stuff that um, I've melted or burned and finished. Like I've definitely been melting a lot more than um, what I have here, but the packages aren't finished. So I'm just gonna talk about what I finished and I'll go ahead and start with, I finished two candles recently. Um, they're both candles by Victoria. This first one's Sugar Spruce, and it was an eight ounce candle. And I love this scent. It's like a really great sweet, sweetish, but not like too sweet um, Christmas tree type scent. <clears throat> and I will definitely be getting more of that next fall, Christmas time. Uh, and then the second one I finished was a 16 ounce jar and it was in Monkey S'mores, which is, was a creative scent that was given to me and I believe it was banana and s'mores, but it could have been Elvis, which is banana and peanut butter plus s'mores. Um, I'm both, I get like a really creamy banana with like a chocolatey type smell. That one was really nice. I like that one a lot. Then, um, I'll go ahead and jump into the clamshells, I guess. Um, this one was Sky Soy Candles in Peppermint Patty. Um, I can't remember if I had two or three cubes left. I did like this scent on Cold Sniff. It came in a de-stash. Um, I didn't really get too much of a throw out of it. Um, I melted it in my 24 watt hot plate. Um, I don't really think I'll be making a purchase with Skies anytime in the foreseeable future. Then I melted, I finished five different clamshells from Beau Savon Frey. The first one was Strawberry Buttercream Cupcakes and I adored this one on Cold Sniff. It smells so yummy. Unfortunately, on warm throw, or I didn't get much warm throw at all. It was a very light throw. Um, what I could smell did smell good. I do know that um, she has since reformulated her wax, so hopefully the new wax will throw better. Then I did um, a lemon squares. And like, so what I ended up doing on all of these is I started with like two cubes, then I added two cubes and another warmer, so I had two warmers going in the same room. And then I just ended up throwing in a third cube in both warmers, so the whole clamshell um, in one use on these. The lemon squares smells nice on cold. I got maybe like a light to medium throw out of the whole clamshell on this. Maybe they would work better in a smaller <coughs> space, like if you have small rooms, if you have a small bedroom or bathroom, maybe they'd work well there. Then I did Honey Bunny, which was like a honey and chocolate scent. And this one like, was again like a light to medium throw. Um, I mostly smell the chocolate on warm. Then I did Banana Zucchini Bread, and this one was the best throw out of all of them. I would say this had a medium um, to high scent throw, and it was really nice. This is a scent I would reorder for sure. Um, it's a really nice sweet candied banana mixed with like a nice creamy, not spicy zucchini bread. And the last clam shell I finished was Peppermint Noel again from Bose Ron Frey. And it smells lovely, like, um, it's a really nice peppermint mixed with vanilla bean noel. It's really nice, but it, it didn't throw very well. And peppermint usually throws so nicely, so I would try her wax again if she was having another sale. I got these all, like, I think 35% off. Um, I would try her new wax again, but I wouldn't pick, place a giant order. Then I melted one of her samples that she sent me in raspberry zinger. Betches. She's playing with a, a piece of tissue paper. 
that she's pulled out of one of my boxes. Um, raspberry Singer. It was a tiny little um, gingerbread man. I didn't really get a throw out of it, but I want to just give her the benefit of the doubt and say that's because it was just a small amount of wax and I was built to get in a big room. Then I did one from Front Porch in lemon cheesecake. And this one was like absolutely to die for amazing. Um, she has such good lemon scents and I love her lemon berry crumble and lemon cookies and lemon marshmallow and lemon cheesecake did not disappoint. It was so, so good. And this next one's from Candles from the Keeping Room. It's raspberry coconut cheesecake. It's actually what I'm melting right now. Um, I put it in this morning. And to be honest, I'm not really getting a raspberry or a coconut much out of it. Um, on cold or warm, I wouldn't be able to pick those notes out and tell you that's what this was. Um, I'm getting like a nice creamy cheesecakey smell. I like it. Um, but again, I don't know that it has raspberry coconut in it. I would repurchase. That was a sample, but I would, I would purchase it, I should say, um, again in the future. Then I did one chaise in honeydew melon, and this one was from a D stash. I didn't really get a throw out of it, um, but I don't know how old it was. So, um, that didn't last very long because I couldn't smell anything at all. Okay, then these two I did together. I did um, a Pix Petals and Scents in Cranberry Cobbler that I got at East Dash. And it was just way too spicy. Like I threw it in and it was like a spice bomb. So I, <laughs> I added the Vanilla Bean Noel that I'd gotten in the same bee stash from Pix Petals and Scents to try and tone it down. And um, it didn't really tone it down that much. So that one didn't last in my warmer for very long. Um, so I just couldn't handle the spice. So if you like spicy scents, like cranberry cobbler is probably for you. I'm just very sensitive to that. Then I did two from BZ. I did a chocolate lava cake. And this one's amazing. It's absolutely to die for. Um, I think I mentioned this in like my most recent BZ haul, but it's such a rich, accurate, big chocolate cake scent. Um, it has a great throw. I love that one. I reordered and repurchased more in that scent because I needed them. I couldn't live without them. And then I also did, this is the last one, I did a BZ Tarts Banana Pudding. And this one was um, so good. If you love banana scents, it's like such a strong, candy-ish banana pudding. Very sweet. And again, an amazing, amazing. They're like, I can't believe these are like a dollar and change, these tarts. Um, he fills them up so high and they're so strong and um, my neighbors could smell this, like downstairs. So um, yeah, that's all I have finished up recently. Um, I will be back doing these like once I get a good enough pile of, of empties. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.